Hello. Two of the region's Euro MPs hosted a summit in Brussels today aimed at preventing athletes from getting caught up in doping scandals. Of course, some athletes know they're taking illegal drugs and do it to improve their performance. But many others are the victims of accidental use. They fail a drug test because of something in the food they eat or the drink they drink, something they don't know is there. Today's meeting heard from experts in Newmarket who are world leaders in researching banned supplements in sport. This report from Alex Dunlop. A world away from the arena of competition, scientists in a small village near Newmarket test everything an athlete may take, purposely or inadvertently. This drug surveillance laboratory is a leader in the testing of food supplements for banned substances. Never busier than during last summer's Olympics, HFL Sports Science provided reassurance to athletes at the Olympic Village. But in the complex world of food and protein supplements, athletes are <laughs> testing positive for illegal substances they had no idea they were taking. And that's why two of the region's Euro MPs have convened this summit in Brussels, to try to achieve harmonization across Europe of what sports men and women can take without being disqualified. The issue for athletes is obviously they're, they're moving around, they're competing in different countries and to be able to purchase supplements that they know have been tested to best practice standards is a very important uh, thing for them. Alan Baxter of Great Britain. At the Winter Olympics in 2002, the British skier Alan Baxter failed a drugs test after inadvertently using a sinus inhaler. Today's summit comes far too late for him, of course. He was stripped of his bronze medal. I'd like to see some sort of standard set right across Europe uh, and for that matter it, it really across the world so that we know exactly when an athlete takes a product, uh, a sports drink or whatever, they are safe, they're not going to be prosecuted. The recent doping scandal of top racehorses at the Godolphin stables in Newmarket, the return to racing of Frankie de Tori after his six-month ban for taking illegal drugs and the fall from grace for cyclist and drugs cheat Lance Armstrong all highlight the corrosive effect of drugs in sport. Athletes at the top of their game hope that today's summit will help draw a line between those who choose to cheat and those who fall foul of the rules through no fault of their own. Alex Dunlop, BBC Look East. The funeral of